Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Cooler Master Hyper TX3 CPU cooler. Now this one here is a mainstream CPU cooler. Many of you have been asking me for some lower, well-priced CPU coolers that perform very well. And this one I've tested thoroughly with an AMD CPU, but it also supports Intel, of course. So your Core i5s, your Core i3, all the latest, it does support it, including older Socket 775 CPUs. Here is the kit. As you can see, all the brackets. It even comes with thermal paste from Cooler Master and um, all the different attachments and manual with instructions on how to install this. It comes with a 92 millimeter fan, as you can see, 800 RPM to uh, 2300 RPM roughly, and uh, 17 decibels is the noise level. So it's very quiet. It's actually a very nice little um, CPU cooler. As you can see, there's three copper heat pipes going through the base there that make contact with the uh, top of your CPU. And uh, it goes through those aluminum fins, which uh, is pretty standard. Here's your four pin uh, CPU fan header. And um, on the other side, actually, you can attach another 92 millimeter fan if you wanted. And that's why Cooler Master provided the attachment so that you can have that on there easily. So um, taking a look here at the bracket for an AMD installation, it just clips on to the existing motherboard um, plastic bracket. And this is the Intel, how you would install it, okay? So I'm gonna do a test here in my system on a uh, AMD CPU, a new AM3 quad-core 910E. It's a low power saving quad-core CPU, which is at 2.6 gigahertz, as you can see here, and I haven't overclocked anything. And at idle, it's roughly giving me about 22 to 23 degrees Celsius with the TX3 CPU cooler. So that is really um, impressive considering that this CPU cooler costs roughly about 20 bucks. So here we're getting 23 degrees Celsius with a quad core phenom and on full load, again, not overclocked, but on full load, it goes up a few degrees to 33 degrees Celsius. And that's uh, it tops off at that. Now I thought I'd push it a little bit harder, harder and overclock the uh, the Phenom uh, to to uh, 3.1 gigahertz. So at 3.1 gigahertz, this CPU on idle it goes up about four degrees. So from 22 maybe to 25, 26 degrees Celsius roughly. And uh, on full load it goes up to 36, 37 degrees. So it hardly does uh, make too much of an impact, and it still is able to keep that temperature low as you can see again this is really meant for low wattage cpus it's a perfect fit okay and i definitely recommend this for twenty dollars if you're looking to get something that is um supporting the latest cpus the low power low saving ones and uh, anything that you have there for intel or amd it doesn't matter it comes with a full kit so i'd like to thank uh, cooler master for providing it and i hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching